Hey. ありがとうございました。Yo, what's with you? Hey, going somewhere special, Aniki? Back to that soap land? Shut it. It's work-related. 
You're giving people the wrong idea. <laughs> My bad. Screw it. I'll take you with me. As it goes. Didn't expect anything anyway. Hey, you! What are you doing with your nose up in our goddamn business? Who are you? Don't give me that. You know damn well we're the Seryu clan. Calm down. I'm just having a little smoke break. Sorry if I caused a misunderstanding. Yeah, okay. Maybe I would have believed you if you weren't so calm in the face of Yakuza. All right, I'm leaving. Will that work for you? Hell no. Not until you tell us why you were staring at her office. We'll even give you a tour. Come on, don't be shy. Not like you're gonna learn anything from way over here. Oh, and by the way, you're one of them Daidoji, aren't you? What? <laughs> now we get a reaction out of you. What are you talking about? Just got an anonymous message. Came here with this photo. Says you work for the Daidoji, too. Real polite-like. You were spying on us, but it looks like someone else was spying on you the whole time. Not so smart, are you? So, who the hell are the Daidoji? And what do they want with us? You know who sent you that photo? They say anything else? Nah, nothing. But they were right on the money about you snooping around here. <sighs> Take this! <laughs> you bastard! I'm interested in knowing who sent you that photo. But I have no business with you. Let me pass. You must be a real bird brain if you think I'd buy that. After this. Sorry, but I need to know who snitched. You piece of shit! Any chance you guys visited any docks last night? What? Hell if I know. Yeah, thought so. Is today the first time you got a message from this guy? Why the hell should I tell you anything? I suppose you shouldn't. How about you forget about me, and I'll forget about this. You wouldn't want it getting out that you failed ganging up on a spy, would you? Seems like a bad look for the Seiryu clan. Ugh. Either way, we won't be seeing each other again. Sorry for the trouble. Hey! You get your ass back here! You think this is over? Hey! clan had nothing to do with the attack. Most likely. But you never thought they did, did you? More importantly, it appears someone is watching me. Someone who knows I'm working for the Daidoji. Right. The sender of the anonymous message. 
From the timing, we can assume they're connected to the attack on the dock. Must be Mr. X himself, or someone working with him. Furthermore, they could be watching you as we speak, correct? Yeah. Does feel like I've got eyes on me. Guess they've been tailing me for a while. Can you lose them? I could try, but this is our first solid lead. There's a better way to handle this, isn't there? Such as? I'll leave them somewhere nice and quiet, then grab them. Once I shake them up, I'll see what they know about Mr. X. Can't be more than two men tailing me. A simple task. I see. Indeed, I suppose that would be no problem for you. All right, then. I'll head to where you are. Do be careful. You've got business with me, don't you? There is more of them than I thought. We ain't gonna hurt you. Just come with us nice and quiet. We already know who you are. Had a feeling your death was a pile of horseshit. Keep you son. I don't know what you're talking about. You must be thinking of someone else. But... I'm about to find out exactly who you are. Tough enough to make demands, are you? Sure you're alright showing me your face? Everyone else is too shy. I ain't your enemy. But you think we could talk someplace else? Someone from Daidoji's on his way here, ain't he? Who knows? Like I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm. If you're gonna play dumb, we'll just have to put an end to your act with our fists. You guys ready? You're going up against the dragon of Dojima. Go at him like you mean to kill or you'll regret it. Now, get him, boys! Hell yeah! Got it, boss! <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got to see your pretty face, Kiryu-san. Now it's gotten interesting. So your friends were just the opening act then. Who are you guys? It ain't too late. Just come with us and we'll tell you everything. Afraid I can't do that. Figured as much. That's the dragon of Dojima for you.
<sighs> Who are you? Just Osaka and travelers. From the Omi Alliance. You say you're not Kazuma Kiryu, but you sure know the Omi Alliance, don't you? What are the Omi doing in Yokohama? Well, why else would we be here? Came looking for you. Well, let's just say there's folks back in Osaka who still don't buy that Kazuma Kiryu kicked the bucket. Why did you attack the docks last night? If Kazuma Kiryu's still breathing, that means somebody went through a whole mess of trouble to make it seem otherwise. Somebody who's got an in with the cops and the government. Who could pull off something like that in Hiroshima, where you supposedly died? The Daidoji faction was the first thing that came to mind. So we thought we'd try to nab that guy who looked like your handler. Wanted to squeeze some info out of him. If you're alive, and if so, where you were holed up. You were after Hanawa. Yep, so we pretended to be those terrorists and chatted up the Americans about smuggling gold. They must have been real suspicious of us. But that's nothing a nice fat commission can't fix. And sure enough, the CIA went straight to the Daidoji to get that job taken care of. That's what we had to go through, just to make you guys come out of the woodwork. So, from the beginning, you expected the CIA to rely on the Daidoji for the smuggling. Yep. But when we saw you last night in the flesh, well, there was no need to bother with the other guy after that. Might as well make contact with you directly. That guy you didn't need to bother with has come to pick me up. Fine work as usual, Joryu. Defeating all your pursuers in one fell swoop. But I believe you said there would be no more than two. Hey, I still got the job done, didn't I? Indeed. But there may be more on the way. We should get out of here immediately. And you, mind introducing yourself? <clears throat> he hasn't told me his name. Only that he's from the Omi Alliance. Then why don't we continue this conversation in the car? We'll have plenty of time to learn all we need. I see. So the Omi Alliance coordinated last night's attack in order to locate Kazuma Kiryu. Yeah, but they tracked down the wrong person. They mistook me for this Kiryu guy. I wasn't born yesterday. Look, I'm just trying to do the job they handed to me. How very interesting. I hope you know we won't let you go until you tell us who put you up to this. Hmm. Doing the interrogation all by yourself? Hanawa-san. <laughs> So what if I am? <laughs> because that mean you're the only one stuck on Kiryu-san. <laughs> Sound about right. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Just what are you? I saw it all! That, that black van just ran right into that car! <sighs> that Hanya mask... <sighs> Fuck this! Let's go! You're coming with us, Kiryu-san. As a matter of fact, you're gonna be giving us a little help. <clears throat> I'm not Kiryu. <clears throat> but... 
If it's a fight you want, I'll give it to you. Now I hear you. Those Daidoji boys have got you tight by the balls, don't they? If you want, we can make them loosen that grip on you. You what? Shishido. Deal with him. He's the only one from Daidoji here right now. You have no problem killing people, do you? What do you want from us? And what's your deal? Reduced to being Daidoji's dog? Legendary dragon. My fucking ass! Hanawa, get out of here. You're just an obstacle to these guys. Yes. So it would seem. Shishido, put the knives away. Wouldn't want to kill Kiryu-san. Hmm. Fine. Then I'll just beat him half to death. If you're done running your mouth... Then come on! Show me what you got! Let's go. So you're sticking to all these fancy new moves. I'll kill you, son. Leave that shit for judges and rules. The only winner out here is the one who walks away. If you want that to be you, then fucking kill me! You don't like being shown up, then. That's fine. I can take you on any way you want. Still gonna beat you into submission, though. <laughs> Gonna teach me a lesson? Oh yeah. I can't wait to see this side of you. I just hope you got the moves to back it up. Whenever you're done talking, come find out. School's out! Round two is on! Come on! Bring that good shit! Let's go. How about this? <laughs>
it coming. <laughs> Go ahead, pick it up. I don't mind. No rules in a fight to the death, right? Damn geezer. You think you've won? Enough! We're out of time! Kiryu-san, quit resisting and come with us. Or Hanama-san's a dead man. <sighs> May I say something? Spit it out. Joryu, listen to me very carefully. What's most important to you? Who do you want to protect more than anything? Think about that. And you'll know what you have to do right now. What I'm saying is... Don't worry about me. I'm a professional. It's my own error that got me into this. <laughs> Hanawa! Shut it, will ya? Shishio, what were you planning on doing with that knife? Don't forget why we're here. Get in. But, Captain, clearly we underestimated these guys. Hurry up and get in the damn car. It's a burner phone. Can't be traced. I'll contact you later. Let's try this again from the top, all right? But don't do anything stupid, or Hanao-san will be dead meat. He'll be sinking to the bottom of Yokohama Harbor before you can blink. What are you after? I want to have a nice long chat with you. Spend a lot of time and money for that. The details can wait. Cops will be here any minute. At least tell me your name. It's Suruno. 
from the Omi Alliance's Watase family. The Watase family? You're well acquainted with our patriarch, yeah? Masaru Watase. He's the captain of the Omi Alliance, which means he's top dog of the Yakuza world. I'm here because the Patriarch needs your strength. Sorry for the trouble. I'll be out of here in a minute. Could I get a hand cleaning up? Oh, uh, sure. Just come right this way. Thanks. Sorry for the trouble. I owe you one. Oh, no skin off my back. But that was one nasty brawl you got yourself into. You and that other guy were really something. We were scared out of our wits, right guys? What is this place? A homeless camp. It's a haven for outcasts like us. Everyone who ends up living here has been through a whole lot. Take that tent over there. That guy was a nurse up until recently. In fact, he was treating a guy with a gunshot wound just a few days ago. A gunshot wound? Don't listen to him. This guy's always exaggerating shit. I'm not exaggerating. You saw him too, that Yakuza-looking guy with scruffy hair. He's still sleeping in there right now. Just keep your voice down. Oh shit, look over there. You better get going. We won't tell the cops a thing. I don't want any trouble around here. Sounds good. Thanks.
いらっしゃいませ。
ありがとうございましたフォー。In other words, I'm your superior. Know your damn place. I see. So they call themselves Omi Alliance. But there was no definitive proof of that, was there? Which means you can't say for certain if they're really with the Omi. Yeah, that's why I need that phone back. If they call and I don't answer it, Hanawa will be in danger. You don't need to worry about that. The phone signal has been cut off. Wouldn't want a GPS giving our location away. What? I'm saying that even if they do call, it won't go through. Then, why did you bring me here? Who said you could ask questions? Your report's not over. Let's hear the rest of it. Enough of this! I don't know what's going on! You're not supposed to. Just who do you think you are? We can't afford to be wasting time like this. One of your own was taken hostage. They're gonna kill Hano if I don't stay in contact. And if they do, it'll mean he's done talking. What? Hanawa's capture means we have to resign ourselves to a breach of confidentiality. After all, if they resort to torture, no way could he keep his lips sealed. This is your fault, Joryu. But even if things do get out, we'll just have to retreat underground again. You're just gonna abandon Hanawa? Before you've even tried to save him? If he were truly loyal to the Daidoji, he would have already killed himself. And if he hasn't, he's now worth the risk we need to take to save him. Is that how the Daidoji do things? Or do you just not want the blame to fall on you for all this? Hmm. Don't speak like you know anything. Get him. <laughs> We should have done this from the beginning. They say you were a legendary Yakuza. <laughs> But in the end, how are you any different from us? We both operate in the shadows, do we not? You will get no more special treatment. When there's an assignment for you, it will not be pleasant. And if you refuse, Both you and those children in Okinawa will be punished. There's always a guy like you, huh? Disgusting use of power. <laughs> My name is Yoshimura. I'm looking forward to our time together. Make him understand his position. Take as much time as you like. Give me back that phone. They're gonna call. We can still save Hanawa! We don't like this any more than you do, Kiryu-san. But, well, since we're gonna be working together from here on out, how about we introduce ourselves with our fists? They captured one of your own. And yet you're still doing whatever that bastard tells you? Someday, you'll be the one left for dead. Well, you might be right, but at least we'll last longer than you. Pardon the interruption. What is it? There is something I must show you. This here is the phone Kiryu-san was carrying. It's not supposed to be on, is it? Uh, something about the enemy discovering our location? If you know that, then why not turn it off? Why? Because I wish to save Hanawa-san, of course. Hey! 
What are you doing? You said we should introduce ourselves with our fists, right? So how about we get better acquainted? Sure you! You cocky little... Let's go! Here we go. The gloves are off. In a pinch, you still resort to violence to resolve things. We still have a ways to go in our training, don't we? <laughs> Is this really what you wanted? It might not end well for you. Please, do not worry. I'm not even a real monk. This temple and I are simply a facade. Just part of the front for the Daidoji faction. Yeah. I thought that might be the case. Please save Hanawa-san. To tell you the truth, I was the one who recruited him. Once upon a time, I was one of the Daidoji's treasurers. I needed someone capable to work under me, so I pulled him into this criminal underworld. He was slightly lacking in personality, but when it really mattered, you could always count on him. I agree. And because of that... I won't let him die in their hands. We still have a chance to save him now that I have this phone back. You must get out of here first. More men will be coming. Please, leave this place. If you do not make it out of here, you will not save him. Yeah, I know. Huh! <laughs> 
Going somewhere, Mr. Legendary Yakuza? Don't think so, dickhead! You ain't getting away from us!
Oh, I'd love to see that crush you just now. Why don't you just give up? Now you've really done it. You've made an enemy of the entire Daidoji just to save one man. Out of my way. I just... lost my patience with incompetent leadership. Why go to such lengths to save Hanoa? In the end, he's just another pair of eyes on you. What is it to you if he's tortured or killed somewhere? I've... given up my past. My life and even my name. I have no hope for the future. He's the only connection I've made during this dull, pathetic existence. Hmm. To think that the dragon of Dojima would sound so pitiful. Even when a Yakuza put a gun to his head, Hanawa told me not to bother saving him. Wanted me to prioritize myself and the people I care about over his own life. If I turn my back on him and become your lapdog, what would I have left? What a load of bull. 
Why the hell should I care? Yeah. Didn't think you'd understand. And to be honest, I don't care. But if you're gonna stand in my way, I'm gonna have to make you step aside. Fine by me. Bring it on! Yeah, it's on now. Thought maybe you turned your back on Hanosa. I take it he's alive? Yep. Ain't gonna go and kill a valuable hostage. Make sure to come to the place I'm about to tell you. It's called Survive. It's a joint in Ijincho's bar district. I'll be waiting there for you. And make sure to come alone. Of course. But it'll be some time before I arrive. Don't worry about it. We can track your location with the GPS, after all. And no turning that phone off without warning again, all right? Be seeing ya. Welcome. I'm meeting someone. Go right ahead. Hey, little lady. Get my friend here one of what I'm having. Of course. Why this place? Because it's the safest spot in all of Ijincho. Usually, the scary-ass bartender's keeping a close eye on things. But sounds like he's got a bad back today. Yes, he's out sick. Sorry about that. It's fine. Didn't expect you to be so true to your word. You're alone? Thought you'd bring a few of your men with you. I just want to talk. Need you to open up your heart to me a bit. How's Hanawa? Still breathing. He's part of the reason I want to chat. You said you're operating under orders from Watase. Isn't he in jail? I saw it on the news at some point. We got our orders right before he went in. Yep, it's taken us that long to follow your trail. But finally, here I am, sitting right across from you. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not this Kazuma Kiryu you guys are looking for. Geez, knock it off already. From watching you, we figure we've got the gist of what's going on. You made some kind of deal with the Daidoji faction, didn't you? I'm guessing their end involves protecting Haruka Sawamura and the kiddos at Morning Glory. Anyway, here's my theory. Daidoji was the fixer, and he had a secret society with a nasty reputation. The Yomei Alliance that supposedly killed you in Hiroshima. Our muscle for him. You beat their pants off. But in order to make a deal with the Daidoji, you had no choice but to die. 
Which means you agreed to all this. That being the case, I'm thinking maybe you were the one who came up with the whole idea. All to protect those precious little tots. Speaking of kids, say we take them hostage too. Would you talk to us then? Go ahead. Try it. You, your crew, Watase. I'll make you regret you were ever born. Well, seems like my theory was on the money. It's Suruno, right? Supposing I am Kazuma Kiryu, what does Watase want with me? Before I can tell you that, I'll need you to promise me you'll do it. Else, my lips are sealed. No guarantee on Hanawa-san's life either. You want me to agree to something before knowing what it is? There's something in it for you too, of course. If you accept our deal, I'll get rid of that Daidoji collar around your neck. What? It's simple. All you gotta do is die. One more time. If you do what the boss is asking, we'll fake Kazuma Kiryu's death once again. But this time, it won't be the world you're deceiving. It'll be the Daidoji. If they think you're dead dead, ain't no point watching you any longer, yeah? Haruka Sawamura and the other kids. It'd be a big ask to live with them again, but... Might just be able to meet up once in a while. You'd get to see him again. All them kids at morning glory. But for that to happen, Hanawa-san has to die. What? If we're gonna convince folks that Kazuma Kiryu died a second time, we'll need Hanawa-san's body. Hmm. Is that really so bad? He's the very man holding your leash for the Daidoji. Just break away and be free. What's there to worry about? You're about to die and come back to life again, Kiryu-san. 